Hey there. Today we're going to be making this very, very fancy, magnetic, tiny canvas, black light, and glow-in-the-dark art. Some cute little hippy daisy flowers. I used, for the paint, Neon Nights paint. They come with eight different colors, I believe. Yeah, eight different colors. Here's all the colors. All of the colors. So many colors. I find that you have to do a couple coats of this paint to get it to glow very well. But once you do a couple coats, it does glow really well. I will say that much. And under a black light, it does glow really well as well. So, what you need is a tiny canvas, the paint, some paint brushes. I find myself using square tip brushes. They seem to be, I don't know, it's, that's very much a preference. You could use any kind of paint brushes that you prefer though. You'll need some water to clean your brushes off. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see them glow under a black light, you will definitely need a black light. And then, once you've gotten the piece to absorb a whole bunch of light, and you shut it off, glowing, glowing art. The first thing you need to know about drawing little hippie flowers is that they're free and happy like hippies so you don't need them to be perfect what I normally do is start by drawing five points like a little person kind of like a stick figure only with a long pointy head and then I just fill them in I just fatten them up and make it how I want it and for this particular piece since we're gonna be filling it in with black you can kind of change the shape later which I ended up doing with mine is it entirely intentional all the time to change the shape of your piece? No, but it comes out how it comes out. And that is the fun of making art. And blacklight art in particular. I love making blacklight art. And glow-in-the-dark art. It's so unique and special. And at night, when you're walking around and you see your painting glowing on the wall, it just makes you happy. It makes me happy. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's fantastic. Alright, so... The other things you need to know is you need to do multiple coats of this paint. So in this painting, this little tiny painting, I did three coats of the colored paints. With the exception of the little tiny dots that I used as the centers of the flowers. I only did one coat of that because I figure there's already three coats of glowing paint behind it. It's probably going to glow pretty well. And I think it does, as you'll see at the end. Or at the beginning. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to cut this yet. Either way, three coats, let it dry completely. If you get bubbles in your paint, I didn't do it on this, and I did experience some bubbles in my paint. I have done research. They recommend using a hot uh, hair dryer, not a hot air gun. Don't use a hot air gun on acrylic paints. You will burn the paints and they will shrivel up and it will smell really bad. You don't want that. So try the hair dryer trick. Let me know how that goes. Don't blow any hair onto your piece. I actually use a glass bowl to cover my pieces up. It works pretty well. I have cats that like to walk around and step in wet paint and ruin things. I love them. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing, but they still like to ruin my paint. So once you've got your three layers done and your center is done, you can outline your piece. And I like to do the sides of the canvas. I think it looks better if you get the sides completely done too. I don't, I don't know. That might be just total, my, totally my preference. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's okay if you leave the sides blank or like half painted? I think that's what it gets me is that you always seem to get some paint on the sides and then it looks a little messy if you don't just just cover the sides just do something with them so they aren't half painted half painted doesn't usually look good at least not to me I don't know what do you think is half painted okay should you paint the sides of the canvas should you leave it alone let me know what you think 
I think the coolest thing about these tiny canvases is that you can actually hang them onto your fridge. They're magnetic. I tested it. It does actually hang, which is amazing. Now I'll have a tiny little painting on my fridge, which makes me very happy. Okay, I found the little tiny canvases at Walmart, and they are simply brand. Mini magnetic canvas is what this one says. It's always a good idea to prime your canvases if you don't like the texture. I really don't like the texture of canvases. I wish I had primed this canvas. Good idea to do that. And actually, I was thinking I might try priming my canvases with matte neutral glow-in-the-dark paint. Just regular glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint that is non-colored. And then anything I do that's light should hopefully glow a little stronger just having that come through on the background. Though I think traditionally, traditionally glow-in-the-dark and black light are... I feel like it should have a strong black outline because that's what it came from and it kind of makes your colors pop a little more. You can definitely make some, re I've made some very interesting art without outlines, don't get me wrong. It's much more free without outlines, but when you're painting with acrylics and you're trying to get a very good strong glowing piece with multiple layers, you want something that's not quite as free flowing. Alright, so now that you've got your flowers done and your black paint on and everything is dry, all you have to do is let your piece soak up some sun and then shut the lights off and see how well it glows. Let me know. Let me know if you've tried painting one of these. I want to see what you guys come up with. Take a picture, put it online, link it up, put it in the comments below. I want to see it. I want to know if someone takes the time to try making one of these cool little black light pieces. These magnetic canvases are so cool. It would be really nice if someone also made something with them because I think they're the coolest thing in the world. All right, please click subscribe if you want to see some more glow in the dark art. If you want to make paint with me, come check me out on my website. It's beckers.com. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.